Today I'm going to give you an update for the second generation Motorola Moto X. I've owned it for about one and a half years and the idea is to give you some opinions on it if you were to buy it second hand or for a discounted price. First off, I have to mention how durable this device is. It has been dropped quite some times on everything from concrete to gravel from various heights and the only damage is some scuffing on the corner and a small chip on the glass. I do think that the raised metal things on the speakers have helped a lot from preventing a shattered screen and the sides feature this very hard metal. Moto X handles drops like a boss and the whole structure feels very rigid. This phone also has a water resistant coating on the components so if I were to accidentally drop it in water the risk of it getting broken is minimalized. This haven't been tested yet but I'm quite sure it works after watching some YouTube videos of this function. Now to the performance. I'm stunned by the smoothness of this phone. It has just gotten better and better for every update and everything works silky smooth. To be fair, I don't think you need a faster phone than this unless you're a hardcore gamer because the GPU is slightly outdated. But for everything else, it's just perfect. Something else which is perfect is the updates which Motorola has been sending out to this phone. It has gotten all the major OTA updates and it currently runs Android Marshmallow. It is also expected that Moto X second generation will receive Android 7.0, which is awesome. So I'm very satisfied with the snappy performance and the updates, but here comes the down downfall. The battery was never great on this phone from the very beginning, but after some time I've noticed some wear and tear on the battery. You do have to charge it very frequently and that is not a good sign, especially when the battery is not replaceable, so do keep this in mind if you are buying the Moto X use. The camera was never a strong point for this phone either and the updates has not made any difference to that. Low light is not being handled very good and even photos taken under daytime look mediocre. The contrast is bad and dynamic range is lacking. All in all, if you don't mind the bat battery life and camera, you certainly will enjoy the durability and performance plus the support that Motorola keeps giving. Thanks for watching and hope this helped. Be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for future content. Peace.